What's going on guys, Necromancer Noob with a Remnant 2 video. We finally, finally got some concrete news and the first look at the second DLC for Remnant 2. So let's take a look at it, let's talk about it, and yeah, let's just get right to it. Now I know a lot of you guys have been patiently waiting for news and DLC and we finally got it. We are looking at a release date of April 23rd, so in about two weeks, a little bit less than that. And I say patiently waiting, but I've seen you guys on Discord, Reddit, you name it. I've seen you guys everywhere. When's the DLC coming out yet? Have you heard any news on the DLC yet, guys? One day passes. Have you seen any news on the DLC yet, guys? But don't worry, guys. I'm on the same boat as you guys. I just had to tease you guys just a little bit. But anyways, let's talk about the trailer. Now, in this trailer, we have the familiar favorite, Yesha, is coming back. That's right. We're going to be getting more of that beautiful jungle landscape. And I'm not going to lie, guys, I was kind of expecting Nehrude to be next, but that just means Nehrude's probably going to be the third DLC, and that's going to be fleshed out a little bit more. I just really want Nehrude to be fleshed out a little bit more. It's a little uh, on the blander side. But anyways, we're moving back on. The title for this second DLC is called The Forgotten Kingdom. And mind you guys, this is just a teaser, so we are going to get a probably a full-fledged trailer next week when we got one week before their launch. But anyways... We got some familiar enemy types and some new ones as well. A lot of stone creatures, uh, familiar faces that have slight variations to them. I'm excited to see these and some pretty cool armor set. That armor set at the end looks sick. I can't wait to get my hands on that. And this wouldn't be a Remnant 2 game without new weapons, new melee, new firearms. We got the whole shebang. We got a pretty cool looking crossbow cool melee weapons as well and a new archetype let's not forget about that and you can guarantee that they haven't shown us everything yet so i'm sure there's more firearms more melee weapons we got more rings more amulets just everything but overall you know we already know this dlc is going to be ten dollars so that is a major selling point you don't see ten dollar dlcs nowadays especially when it gives you probably another 40 50 hours of gameplay probably more or less depending on what kind of player you are but nonetheless i'm excited we got yesha yesha is such a cool world i mean there's a reason why they brought it back from the first one people love it it's just such a cool landscape such a cool area let's talk about these little walking vases that was like the funniest part of the dlc i don't know why but those walking vases uh very interesting enemy types i can't wait to see what they got in store for us but at the end of the day, guys, I want to hear from you guys. So what are you excited to see in this DLC? What do you want to see in this DLC? And I mean, just what are you looking forward to? Are you looking forward to the new class, new weapons, just more content in general? But before all is said and done, I want to show you guys a quick little screenshot of their website and kind of like the introduction or excerpt for what we're looking forward in this DLC. So I'm just going to read that and post it up here for you guys to look at for yourself. All right. In this upcoming DLC for Remnant 2, you will piece together the forgotten history of the lost tribe of Yesha as you attempt to quell the vengeful wrath of an ancient stone spirit called Ledusa. Navigate the lingering traces of torment, treachery, and death that haunt the land's once proud ziggurats. As Ledusa's living stones wander the crumbling remnants of an ancient civilization in search of fresh blood and a brand new storyline, you must uncover the secrets of a lost tribe by exploring a mysterious new area within the world of Yesha. In the strange new location, you will traverse new dungeons, acquire powerful gear, including a new archetype, the Invoker. Meet unexpected allies and face new threats in their quest to return some semblance peace to the Forgotten Kingdom. Now along with that, we also got talks about the invoker the new archetypes we're going to talk about that drawing strength in the nature spirits of yesha this new archetype can harness the mystic power of the jungle more details on the archetype will be revealed in the next trailer next week so there we have it a little teaser on the invoker the new archetype we'll get more details next week along with the actual fleshed out trailer and we got the introduction of the new villain ledusa a stone creature and his little stone enemies that, anyways that just about covers it guys if you like leave a like subscribe uh plenty more remnant videos coming along the way i will be definitely streaming and posting videos when this dlc comes out in a few weeks but let me know what you guys are excited to see let me know what you guys want to see and until then i will catch you guys in a future video have a good one peace out Bye bye